Hey guys, my name is Dean, founder of Manflow Yoga. In this video, I'm going to talk about how often you should be doing yoga if it's your only workout. So how many minutes per day, how many days per week, what type of yoga should you be focusing on, and what are some other specific pieces of advice I have for people who are only doing yoga. Check out this video to find out. The answer I'm about to give you is based on my expertise as a yoga fitness for men leader. So I've created programs and workouts that have been used by thousands of people on my website at manfulyoga.com. I've literally written a book on yoga fitness for men, which has been purchased by tens of thousands of people all over the world in three different languages. And I've also created DVDs that have been purchased by tens of thousands of people on Amazon. So um, before I get started, I do want to request that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you don't miss out on future videos I release. Hit the bell button to get notifications so you know as soon as those videos are released. And I do have a question for you. What does your weekly schedule for yoga look like right now? How many days per week are you doing it? What type of yoga are you doing? And if you answer that question, it's going to help me um, make content and make videos that is best suited to your goal. So leave your answer in the comments section below. Now, let's get to that answer. If you are only doing yoga, if this is your only workout, I recommend that you start with 20 to 30 minutes five to six times per week. If you can hit that, then I'd also recommend you slowly start to build your yoga frequency up to six times per week with 30 to 60 minutes per workout. So maybe you don't always have time for 30 minutes, maybe you don't always have time for 60 minutes, but if you can get in that range, maybe one day you're doing 25, another day you're doing 35, and if you have maybe time for a longer workout, you're doing a nice 45 or 50 minute workout, then I think that's going to give you really nice results um, with that recommended schedule. Now, there are some things you're gonna wanna focus on if yoga is your only workout, because by not incorporating resistance training with weights or with, um, with cables or with gym equipment, you are missing out on a lot of essential strength training that helps you prevent injury, that helps maintain healthy muscle mass, bone density, um, regulates your hormone levels, and even helps with sleep. So there's a lot of things that you're not getting that you're gonna wanna make sure that your yoga workouts are getting if you're not doing other workouts. So some of these things include uh, doing yoga in a way that helps you reach the point of fatigue or that point of failure. So you should be doing yoga in a way that makes your muscles shake and you get to the point where you have to quit the pose, right? So you really wanna be challenging yourself. And you also wanna be challenging yourself from a strength perspective. So this means that you should be doing exercises or postures in a way that you can only hold them for five or 10 seconds before your muscles give out. This is strength. You also want to really avoid doing too many forward folds. This is a huge problem I see in people who are following yoga only programs. If you do too many forward folds, you're going to end up with low back pain. So make sure that you're doing more back bends, make sure that you're not doing too many forward folds, and when you are, you wanna be doing them with proper technique. And if you're curious about how to do that, I've got a lot of other videos on this topic, a lot of common errors uh, that people make and how to avoid them on this YouTube channel. There'll be a link in the description here to go check that out. And then you also wanna be sure that you are somehow strengthening your upper back and your shoulders with yoga. Unfortunately, there's no way to create resistance without using an external force. So without using a resistance band, without using a bar, or, or without using a weight, there's no way for you to create pulling resistance. And unfortunately, if you don't do this, you're not going to have stability and strength in your upper back. And this can lead to shoulder pain or shoulder injury. I know this because I've also had this. I've had the same issue when I first started doing yoga and I was doing yoga for two to three years and I wasn't doing any weights or other workouts. I did get pain in my shoulders to the point that I had to stop doing yoga for months because I just had imbalances in my shoulders that were causing pain, that were uh, potentially leading me down the road to injury, and I had to stop, 
And once I started incorporating those resistance training exercises, just some resistant bands, some pulling, some pull-ups, my shoulders uh, immediately improved. So make sure that you are doing some sort of pulling exercises. If you are doing yoga, uh, even if it's just a little bit, one to two times per week, it's going to make a huge, uh, hugely positive impact on your yoga practice and also help you stay healthy so you can continue to practice yoga. So, those are my recommendations for you if you are only doing yoga, if this is your only workout. Um, if you are new and you can't quite do yoga every day, I would recommend doing at least three times per week, but building up to doing six days per week. And again, aiming for at least 30 minutes per day. And if you have time for it, going up to those longer workouts between 30 to 60 minutes. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe if you haven't already to this channel. And if you're looking for full online structured workout programs, check out my website at manflowyoga.com. You can get access to all of my workouts and all of my programs for the cost of a single yoga class or less than the cost of a single yoga class for a month access to all of my workouts. So it's an awesome deal and you can get started for just $1 with a seven day trial at manflowyoga.com slash join. Thanks guys for watching this video and I hope to see you on another one soon.